All right, guys, check this out. Normally, never this happens, but lost footage of the first uh, phase of this job, which was stumping. But I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, you could check it out uh, when I mobilize the equipment. And you can see how this was. This was a big depression in here. There was a big knob here. So basically, it's a 300-foot French drain. And uh, I just dozed everything over here, stumped everything, put the stumps down there. So that's the part you will miss. But other than that... Stay tuned. Subscriber count is climbing, so everybody new here. I'm Mike, owner operator of Tri County Mason and Excavating, also known as Dirt Boss. Uh, back on site. Rain last night, of course, and it wasn't supposed to. Thought I had a two day window here. So, I mean, I can't even walk up this. It's so slippery. I don't know. This is where I got to get access. The stone pile is going to be here. I'm going to drop off. And this slope here. You know, skid steer is not going to go up it. Um, so right now I'm going to mark out. I'm going to cut this trench in. Because even the, just having a plain trench is going to start draining water. Um, and as you see, this is where we're going. So, just going to mark it out with blue for my dig. Can't use a string line because obviously there's nothing straight. It's just a an arc that we're going around so I'll get this marked out like so get back. yeah you can see the water and that line I'm, I'll play with it I, I might have the bucket not dead center I don't know yet but I'm gonna do there. <sighs> it there it's definitely leaching water everywhere and it's running down my tracks that I have here it's probably going right out but look at this I'm just so muddy. It's like this time of year, it's a bad deal. But, let me spin it now. You can see this water. Look at my spin, I don't know if you can see that. But, it's going. So that water's all going down just in the natural track, track trench that I put in here yesterday. So we know once we excavate down, put a pipe in, this is all going. Watch. You can see it better with paint. I don't know why I didn't do that first. <laughs> see the paint going? She's a rolling. Now that's interesting. This water's running craziness and it stops right there. And this hill drops off quite a bit. This is all shale and gravel. It's going right down into a, uh, it's going right down into, look at, it's disappearing as I'm speaking. <laughs> it's going into like uh, shale veins, you know, and just getting out of here, which is good because now he won't have uh, a big muddy mess down this end. Nice and nice. are gone they're all down there that's a headache out of the way got a little little sloppiness it's hard underneath there's rock underneath this so and obviously we filled all this and just a little slop here but once we get this trenched in this should dry it up for the most part um that's the focus right now so we're going to just cut this blue line Alright guys, change of play here. This is how I'm gonna dig it. I'm sideways on the hole. See the tracks out there. I put the blade up to level myself up, then I can do straight pulls faster. A lot better. So you see how I am there. I'm directly over that line. And I'll dig it out that way. A little more maneuvering. If it wasn't so mucky, I would attempt up the other way, but digging at an angle the machine sliding. It is what it is.
little progress report. Oh. So the pipe that he had, you see me ripping it out, putting it over there. Uh, then it, it kind of fades this way and probably goes down that old trench well that was here. So we're going to lose them. So the trench is pitching, obviously, this way. Down here is going to be the two-foot part up there, 16, you know, a foot, whatever. And then it has to go off the other side. We'll have to connect that. Uh, so we'll have this trench pitch on out. Follow that blue line right on out. And I'm, I'm really curious to see why that water is dissipating in the ground there. See what we hit. We may hit a, a big vein where it all goes down in. I can't even dig it, but we'll find out. Gotta move the dozer it's in the way again. Tic tac toe with these things. This is how I have the machine, just in case it's hard to tell when you're on the, the other view. Put the blade to level the bucket out. I'm half and half on the hill and off. Uh, couldn't put it like this because the machine would be at an angle, it would dig your trench at an angle. A little more maneuvering, but it is what it is. There's a mess here anyway, so I didn't care tearing things up. Got all this to deal with. I would love to have the. Uh, off-road truck that would have been sweet set up here and just load this out at the same time but again budget equipment help <laughs> jumping in and out of machines um and uh this was just so muddy and anyways and it was greasy we got to rip off some of that sod down on the other end to get up so it didn't matter this is efficient all right let's get her rolling this is without the blade down. Now put the blade down and look at that bucket level up. Levels me right on up. Cut the slot off. Mucky, mucky, mucky. We need a uh, 90 degree weather right now. And you know that's not gonna happen. Summertime, this would dry up. We grade this out like nothing. But that's nature of the beast. Yeah, we're already hitting some shale. here to clean these piles you don't want them to go into the trench plus it makes a nice neat looking deal
All right, guys. So that's this tail end right here. We went right out from, you know, it was a little over two foot in the center, uh, and it goes right to gra right to gravity fed right to zero, and then it will be the same thing on the other side going out. Hit gravel here. That's why that drained so well. Was we saw this morning when I put the blue paint on, it was going down in the ground because this whole area right here is gravel and it perks like a septic system down on the other end uh don't know what we're hitting there yet probably just the crappy stuff uh because the lawn is so saturated and this was so nice and dry this morning i was i knew something was up but uh yeah so basically we're gonna open this up let the water it's supposed to get rain let it drain we've got to get a skid steer here and get this all smoothed out and take the all that muck and put it down over here uh and get it ready for stone and pipe Okay, on the back side of the trench, or the other side of the trench, I should say. I can dig it straight in front of me because the hill's not as steep. And got to pull forward to clean my bank a little bit. I'm going to have a little hand shoveling to do because stuff's falling in a hole down there to muck where my tracks went up on the bank. I'm not afraid to work. just about at the bottom on this side had the cable line here we got spectrum coming to run a temporary line that comes off that pole down there because we're going to be in here with the skids so you know i'll tear that up and i know it comes through somewhere right here so i'm going to stop for now uh we're almost gravityed out go a little bit more just so it gets out now i'm going to go through with a rake and a shovel and just clean my ditch Make sure fill fill the low spots and make sure everything runs naturally now and that will help it out also. Unbelievable. Got the skids there, bringing it to the job. Ba boom, got a flat. Back on site. Three hours later. Brand new ski. Alright, gonna unload this. At least these piles had a chance to dry out. It's kind of breezy today in 60. Unload this and set this aside for morning. All right, I decided to stay because these piles are drying out nice and I'm gonna put that over in here in case we get rain tonight. But the trench is running water. Running water right on out. So I'll just take from here down and put it all over the top of this.
All right, now I'm going. Back on site. It stayed dry last night. Nice. So, just picked up the pipe. Three rolls of 100. Perf. I do not use the sock. As you've seen, the sock fails over there. And I'll explain that as I do an install. But uh, we use the filter fabric instead. I can put a link in the description of what we use. Uh, the socks fail. They clog. And uh, it's just that. You know, you'll get a few years out of them. All right, let's see what we got. All right, first thing we're gonna focus on is getting these piles out of here. And the, put them on the side. Alrighty, got the mucky mess there. Gonna polish it off with the dozer, track it in. Uh, went as far as I could, did a cable line over there until the cable company comes and gives me a temp. Uh, just gonna clean this ditch out by hand. Anywhere some little bit of piles fell in, and it's also leaching in off the bank. Just clean that up and uh, get it ready for some fabric and then pipe. Yeah, it's crazy. This ground's parking like crazy. You can see the water running. You see her running. And then she only goes to there. She goes right in the ground before it even comes out my trench. Which is cool, too, because it won't saturate the woods. So that's cool.
load of the day. Kenworth T800 Cummins motor feels nice and strong. Uh, my other truck, I gotta admit, though, has a little more pep because that's tuned up. I got a 600 plus horse on that. That's got a Cat 3406E motor in it, which was like 550, and then I juiced it. So this one, I'll probably get a tune up going in a little while. Just uh, after it's painted, probably in the springtime, maybe. We'll see. All right, let's get this unloaded. Sight. All right, got these kind of clips here that hold the fabric to the bank. They work real well. We use them for a lot of different things, but uh, yeah. So got a little help today, so I'm gonna try to get this pipe in. We're fighting this weather. Wasn't even gonna show up today, but the forecast it's blowing off until about three o'clock. The the rain's coming. It rained a little bit last night, so it's a greasy. But these clips. We'll hold it to the bank like that. The way he's just putting on, it's just throw it in and stick it in there. Simple as that, there's U-shaped clips. All right, fabric's in, up to a point. Stone, or and the uh, pipe is going in. You're just gonna place your pipe in. These pipes are a little pain. They get, uh, you gotta unwind them and put them the right way. It's like a, a lead cord. Uh, just hold it down, I'm gonna have a guy hold this down. Just don't dump on it because these things will float up. So you gotta have a guy hold down until you get enough stone over the top, then it holds itself. To me, like my wife likes this machine. I said, I, I've always wanted to buy one. Right, so exactly. Like, <laughs> she said, I don't think you can drive it like mine. Yeah, you can do that.
All right, that's 100 foot right there. Obviously, we got to touch the top up. We're just bedding the stone and getting it before the storm. There's a knife. Put another section 100 on. Got quick couplings. You got to put on there, and then the other one connects right to it. They just snap in with these little clips. If that's what you want right there. Pipe in the center with the fabric below on the sides like that. And that will last 20 some years. people stone is in we are weather protected because i was worried about all this runoff we're supposed to get a monsoon and it would have filled this trench and then i would have dig it all back out so now we're good on that water will be not a problem obviously this is all mucky and we gotta let it dry out but right now it's just gonna hit in the mid 60s they say for about four hours and some sun so hopefully after lunch this will be dry enough i could slick it off hit that with the dozer pack it down um like i said this stuff is we're gonna excavate a pool over here in the spring so it's all gonna this is all gonna get tore up we're gonna have concrete trucks in here everything so nothing's gonna be finished we're just gonna grade it out um hopefully it's dry enough here where i could track a few tracks in here and pack this side hill a little bit better with the dozer i know i was sliding before um but yeah this is definitely gonna work and uh what we did here and just you know you've seen the fabric on the bottom shaped like a u put the pipe in there and that's your best effective way for a french drain leave the top open uh so the water can get right down and out of here uh if he sees he, he's taking on a lot of water he can put two three inches put fabric on this two three inches topsoil on topsoil over it with a nice sandy topsoil uh that will also drain uh but for the first year i said leave it like this and see what happens all right my people let's see what we got in a perfect world this is a three-day job obviously it's the fall weather rain mucky we've been battling the weather here the whole time got rid of the stone that was here he wanted it stockpiled there he's going to reuse that in the spring uh on some diy projects so basically like i told you there's going to be a pool in here in the spring so we're not doing aesthetics or lawn or anything we're just grading out to get everything to work to our french drain you've seen the french drain installed remember fabric at the bottom pipe in there u shape with the fabric clean stone on top most effective way you can topsoil over this at another point but for the first few months you want to see how it's working and if you're confident then you can put a thin layer over it um good thing everything's shaped but we can't grade obviously because it's so mucky and pumping i mean there's three foot of fill back there ball we'll muck everything i dug out <clears throat> So, got a rainstorm coming tonight. Let, let it dry over the weekend. And uh, what will happen is I'll come back and I'll track this hill in. Make it tight to the trench and track this in a little bit better. Uh, but this is all just muck. So, I'm going to upload it. There's no sense in me not uploading this and waiting a week. Just watch me track this in. So, that's the only thing you're going to miss. And uh, 
appreciate it guys any questions leave them down below in the comments and they will be answered have a good one subscriber count is going up for all those guys that come over from jesse muller's shout out i appreciate that and for all those that don't know who jesse is check him out jesse muller he owns his own construction company does some sweet uh concrete work repair videos uh a lot like andrew carmada so it's worth checking him out and i uh, appreciate it thanks